This is being celebrated as Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav and rightfully calls for celebrating the bravery and patriotism for our motherland, Bharat. Today, the Consulate General of India, Vancouver office, is representing Government of India in organizing this felicitation event, Varish Yoda, to honor the veterans of Indian Army, Navy, and Air Force. All Varish Yodas, fellow Indians, and friends of India. I will be presenting the program in mix of three languages, English, Hindi, and Punjabi. And now may I request you all to welcome Manish Ji with a huge round of congratulatory applause. His Excellency, Acting High Commissioner of India, Sri Manish Ji, on the stage, please. <laughs> Manish Ji has assumed this additional responsibility last week, along with his responsibility for being Consulate General of India in Vancouver. Welcome to Calgary, Manish Ji. Now I will request our chief guest, Minister of Transportation in Government of Alberta, Honorable Minister Prasad Pandaji on the stage, please. Now I will request Her Worship Jyoti Gondikji, Mayor of Calgary, to come on the stage, please. Our other guest of honor, Member of Legislative Assembly, Mrs. Leela Sharon Ahir. Member of Legislative Assembly, Mr. Devinder Thur. Come on, I can't hear the applause yet. <laughs> President of Indo-Canadian Community Association, Sardar Seva Singh Premiji. <laughs> President of Indian Ex Servicemen Immigrant Association, Sardar Mohinder Singh Deolji.
With this, I welcome the team from Office of Consulate General of India in Vancouver. We have Manjish Garovarji, Consul and Head of Chancery, Mr. Sanjay Malhotra, Vice Consul Culture and Education, Mr. Jatin Juneja, Mr. Archit Kaushik, and this team is led by Dynamic Manishji. These are the names, you will see the faces around behind all this, what, is, what you are seeing here today. And with this, I invite Manishji to the stage for his opening remarks for the event. His Excellency Manishji. Good evening, dear distinguished guests, Honorable Prasad Pandaji, Minister of Transport, Government of Alberta, Honorable Mayor, Ms. Jyoti Gondek Ji, Member of Legislative Assembly, Leela Saron, Ahir Ji, MLA, Mr. Devinder Thur Ji, Mohinder Singh Deval Ji, Indian, uh, President of the Indian Ex-Servicemen Immigrant Association, Seva Singh Premi Ji, in, from President Indo-Canadian Community Association, uh, our look partners for today's event, uh, Ms. Sonia Joshi, International Hindu Foundation, from Dr. Devesh Oberai, President of Indian Society of Calgary, all fellow countrymen, community members, my dear veterans, very good evening and welcome to this, today's special event, Varist Yodha. And I'm really very pleased to see all the veterans here today who have been living in Calgary. And today we have gathered here to honor them, especially those who have completed 75 years in their life in, in a symbolic gesture as we are celebrating 75th anniversary of India's independence. I'm glad that Consulate in Vancouver is organizing such a such event we have done similar event in vancouver last year on 31st october on that international on the national day of unity by recognizing and felicitating our veterans in Van greater vancouver area just by way of background this is a initiative of our high commission of india in ottawa consulate general of india in toronto and vancouver in this special year when we are celebrating 75 years of in, uh, India's independence by recognizing and, and honoring our veterans who are a real bridge between our two countries. Uh, they have served in Indian Armed Forces, whether it is Army, Navy, or Air Force, but born there, but have migrated here and adopted this country as their new place of state. So they are, their motherland is India, but their karm bhoomi is Canada. So a very warm applause for all the veterans who have gathered here to join this event. And uh, this event is aptly named as Varist Yodha Samman, that is to honor our veterans who served India, their motherland. This is to recognize the service and sacrifices of our veterans who valiantly and selflessly devoted themselves towards something greater than themselves, that is toward the service of motherland India. It is a celebration for their patriotism, dedication, and willingness to give and sacrifice all for the nation. Government of India has always remained committed to taking care of our veterans in the same way as they have taken care of the security of the country. The decision to roll out one rank, one pension, was a testimony to our government's unwavering commitment towards the welfare and satisfaction of the veterans. We have introduced several schemes for the veterans in India, which has proved useful during COVID pandemic. Our veterans were the defenders of our freedom. They are our real heroes, and they inspire us by their credo of service before self. Let's give them another round of applause. It is heartening indeed that our veterans living in Canada remain the flag bearers of our tradition of the armed forces and continue to inspire the Indian community, their uh, Indian community here in Canada with their patriotism and dedication. 
I th thank all of them for their service and salute their dedication to the nation. They might not be living in India, but India is always in their hearts. I am confident that they will continue to be a living bridge between India and Canada and contribute to strengthening our bilateral relations. I once again thank all the veterans living in Calgary and other parts of Canada for their service to the nation and also convey my sincere gratitude to all of you who have come here to celebrate this very special occasion with, with our uh, own people who have found home in Canada. Thank you very much. Jai Hind and I hope that you will enjoy this special event today. Thank you so much, Manish Ji. With this, I will request President of Indian Ex Servicemen Immigrant Association, Sardar Mohinder Singh Diwalji, to come on stage and address the audience here. A huge round of applause for the Varish Chiyoda, please. Good evening to all. Sat Sri Akal. Why will you call Khalsa? Why will you give a day? On His Excellency, High Commissioner of India and Ottawa, Mr. Manish, we are thankful to him. He is personally coming from Ottawa to honor our Indian veterans. I'm also thankful to the Indian government at least they are remembering us overseas. We are thankful to them. And especially Vancouver staff, who is always helpful to us for any information we need, any help from them, they are always helpful to us. They have never said no to us. So I appreciate their and welcome them too for their this event they have organized. Now I will take few minutes to let those who are not aware of our function, what we do in the Indian ex Men Association, which was founded by able persons on 25th June 1992. Since then, it has grown to this level. Earlier, we were renting a place and then functioning there just because we know each other, all the three services, we have good coordination. So that's why we wanted to say and spend our old days together. Because we understand all these and after that, we decided why not to help the community also. Then we started with PR system, PR was introduced, so they started with that. And after that, we are now providing all the facilities which are needed by the community, irrespective of caste and creed, whether they are from any country, Anyone is welcome, which we can help them. We always come for help, and some of the job we do, sometimes some community where they get the towns filled up, that is not very efficiently, and they come, they come, come back. So I can proudly say that our staff, their paper rarely, though I am not ruling out that it does not come, sometimes in rare case, it comes otherwise, they are always accepted and approved. So I will just say what we do exactly with Canadian passports, Canadian citizenship applications, PR cards, renewal, renewal of Indian passports, lost damage passport, which everybody is not aware of and what is to be done. They, they find difficulties when they have to get the citizenship. They need the Indian passport. Even for a visa is required now. So they then they, they have to the form which is filled in 
and set for notarization. We have got notarization in our own society, own association. Two of us, we have got that. So we help them also. And then change of appearance. Some have moved their hair, some have grown up their hair like that. So that also is to be formed into present. Then, then Indian visa requirement, transfer of visa, requirement of OCI, transfer of OCI, because it changes from 20 to 20 years of age and then 50 years of age. Alberta seniors benefit application for CPP, PENDA pension plan, OAS, police clearance, birth certificate, translation, etc. Surrender, renunciation, certificate, then person of Indian origin. So they, we tell them the documents required to complete that process. So they always, and then when we have some question or any query about that, we always approach our uh, their cover staff. They are very helpful and help us in every respect. And we execute the job given to us. So all these we do, those who are not aware of these, but they are all welcome. And in the end, I thank everyone, Mayor of Mayor Jyoti, and again, <coughs> High Commissioner, High His Excellency, High Commissioner of India, Mr. Manish, and the staff from our Vancouver Consulate. So thankful to them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dorsa. I have personally calories that have been over 10 years, so I have no idea how to do a notary test or no consulate-related work. So, first of all, I have referred to a serviceman association that I have referred to. Thank you for all the good work and all the service you provide. Clapping, clapping for their services. There is a big office, they are sitting in the back of the day, for 4-5 hours, they are all the general citizens of Canada, which is, I think, in itself, a big, big job to do. Thank you very much, Deo, sir. I will say this, because I don't understand the people who have made it, they don't understand the people who have made it. I have a professional engineer, I have had a lot of oil and gas experience, Alberta Government, the Minister of Transportation, Prasad Panda Ji, Jeda Ki Sade India, the Canada, the bonds new strength and current the which it both for the Kumika Nivan there. May I invite on stage Honorable Minister Prasad Panda Ji. Indian diaspora in Canada looks upon you when it comes to Indo Canadian relationships. Thank you so much, Sonia Ji. Both, both, thank you all. Namaskar, Satri Akal, Vahe Guru Ji Ke Kalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ke Fateh. Thank you all so much for uh, taking time to join us today. First, let us give a huge round of applause for, for all the soldiers that we should actually give them a standing ovation, if you don't mind. Please. Please, uh, all the guests, stand up and let's give standing ovation to the men and women in uniform who served their motherland, Bharat Mata, and defended our rights, freedoms, civic liberties, everything we enjoy here. We couldn't have immigrated to Canada if they haven't brought the independence to India. So on behalf of government of Alberta, I want to salute them for their services, not only to their motherland, please be seated, not only to their motherland, and we are all so blessed to have them in Alberta. They called Alberta home. They called Calgary home. So they built the country in India. Now they are contributing to the welfare of Calgarians, Albertans, and Canadians. So it is our job to make their life easier at this stage of their uh, their uh, journey. So, at first I want to acknowledge His Excellency Manish Ji 
for the outstanding service they provide to um, Indo-Canadians through their consulate in uh, Vancouver and also in, in, through their embassy in uh, Ottawa because I had the opportunity to represent some of the issues just now uh, um, Mohinder Singh Diolji who mentioned here the visa ka problem ho, uh, or your certificate, old age, uh, life certificate, whatever they needed. I have been requesting both the consulate in, in Vancouver and the embassy in uh, Ottawa to help them because they helped us. They built our careers, they built our lives. So it's our job to, to help them in their hour of need. And also I want to acknowledge all the staff that, uh, that Put, to, put together this event with their hard work and the staff of uh, Vancouver Consulate, they deserve a huge round of applause. <laughs> and all the volunteers and all the, all the organizers, everyone, all the sponsors, whoever worked on this program. Of course, this event is sponsored by Government of India and uh, Consulate of uh, Vancouver. But every other volunteer and all the associations, Indian associations representing various groups, whether it is linguistic or cultural or uh, community groups from India, they are all here with one intention of paying their, of paying their gratitude and respect to the soldiers who are uh, 65 years and above, you said? 65? 75. Gosh, 75 years and they are still here so active when we go to their uh, association. I went there a few times. They, are, they were so welcoming. They are trying to stay healthy without depending on, on anyone. And they, they, they play cards there to keep their mind active, body active. So they gave me a few tips actually how to stay healthy and uh, not to become a drag on uh, Alberta Health. So. Thank you for that. And also this is a great occasion. Um, Manish ji not only is the Consular General in Vancouver, but today is, is, in, a, he, he, he is in a position which he is uh, well deserving. He is the Acting High Commissioner of uh, India in Canada. So he is the top diplomat. He wanted to talk about the uh, strengthening and deepening the relationships between India and Alberta and Canada. So today we had the opportunity to bring together some ministers at McDougall and also he happened to meet the Premier. So we talked about how to deepen and strengthen not only economic relations but also cultural relations and people-to-people -people relations between India and Alberta. And we also talked about how we can recruit not only skilled workers in uh, information technology and other sectors, but also healthcare workers. That's what we need now. So government of Alberta is going to look at few options and you'll hear in the next two weeks on how we can uh, recruit and retain foreign trained uh, nurses and healthcare workers, including the ones from India. So uh, that work is underway. but. Today, let's talk about India. So, in 75 years, this year they celebrated Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, which is 75 years after India's independence. They went through so many ups and downs. But today, India is the largest democracy in the world and fastest growing economy in the world. And as Canadians, we are trying to get our share of that. Uh, economic growth because they have out of their 1.4 billion people believe it or not more than 65% uh, of them are below 35 year old so they have 800 million aspiring young people to become middle class and Canada is rich in uh, natural resources India is rich in human resources we're trying to leverage and cooperate and today government of Canada is negotiating a trade deal with India 
I think that should help all provinces and all major metro, metropolitan cities like Calgary. Once that deal is in place, it becomes more easier for movement of uh, people and connectivity between the two jurisdictions. I wish those uh, negotiations well. Uh, they, I, I wish they'll go well. And again, none of this was possible without these soldiers who sacrificed so much for our freedoms, for our civic liberties, for our rights. So I want to again, on behalf of everyone here, I want to salute them for their sacrifices and I want to wish them very healthy, happy and prosperous stay in Alberta for the rest of the life. And it is our job to make them feel comfortable, stay healthy and help them whatever needs they may have. So I ask all of you to step up and help them as they help us. With that, again, I want to thank Manish Ji and all his staff and all the volunteers for bringing all of us together. Thank you and God bless Alberta. Thank you. Thank you, Prasad, sir. Prasad Ji, Minister Hunde Nanal, Mere Halke, the MLA, we have here. Then I thought that we will talk about the next time. The next time we will program, we will have a speech in Punjabi. Ready for that, Prasad, sir? हौसला बारूद रखते हैं, वतन के कदमों में जान मौजूद रखते हैं, हस्ती तक मिटा दें दुश्मन की, हम फौजी हैं, फौलादी जिगर रखते हैं। This is a tribute to you all. Thank you so much for this. हूँ मैं बुलावांगी, उन अनु जिन अनु सी पिछले साल अक्टूबर 2021 विच हर वर्षे पे इलेक्ट की था। ज्योति गांडेक जी, please come on the stage to address the audience. She is the first woman to be elected as mayor and Calgary's 37th mayor. Throughout her career, Mayor Gondek has been known to be a driven community builder and diversity champion who understands the power of cross-sector partnerships. Whether it is business, social organization, and educational institutions, she has connected them all to the local government. She is honored to serve Calgarians as mayor, and Jyoti Ji, we are honored to have you as our mayor as well. Please. Thank you so much, Sonia Ji. Good evening, everyone. Pyaar pari namaste. The sasri ka sabnu. Vaigur ji ka khalsa. Vaigur ji ki fateh. On behalf of my Calgary City Council colleagues, Vadaiya Ji, on the 50th anniversary of Azadi, I appreciate you inviting me to this Varsht Yoda celebration. And I would like to welcome Acting High Commissioner of India and Consul General for India in Vancouver, His Excellency, Excellency, Mr. Manish Ji, thank you so much for coming to our city today. But I'm going to speak about what is closest to my heart as we are gathered here today, and I think it's probably closest to yours, the ex-servicemen who are with us today. In the strength, the nar, in the honesty, the nar, the in the loyalty, the nar, Ladanya which fight Kita Visadi, independence, Hovetia, Sisare, Te Ponchi, as work which we. So Jerry to see Kurbani the Tia Parthno, O Stij di Kui Risni, her road son of Shukar Karna Chaida. I am thankful every day, as we all should be, that you fought those fights to gain us the independence that we needed. It is wonderful to see you all here today. We owe you a debt of gratitude, and there's not a day that we will ever forget what you did for us and the sacrifices that you and your families made for all of us. Today is about you. Thank you for everything you've done, and thank you, Sonia Ji, for bringing us all together. Na jukne diya tiranga, na jukne diya tirange ko na yudh kabhi ye haare hain. Bharat Mata Tere Veero Ne Dushman Chun Chun Ke Maare Hain. This statement comes because I come from a family. I am a family of people who have been living in every time, who have been living in the forge, who have been living in the border. My family has been retired in my family. Two lieutenant journals have retired. So I can understand 
what your guys life has been tusi kinni mehnat kiti hai te kinna tusi sade desh layi apni qurbaniyan ditti hai eh qurbaniyan sirf tusi nahi dittiyan thode piche jehde tabbar thonu miss karde si thode bacche thodi wife thode parents ohna di qurbani thode to vi upar hai ajj aur ohna saryan layi ik var fer dwara taaliyan ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੀ ਅੱਜ ਥੋੜੀ ਕਮੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਆਖਰੀ ਸਪੀਚ ਲਈ ਮੈਂ ਬੁਲਾਣਾ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੀ ਇੰਡੋ ਕੈਨੇਡੀਅਨ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਸੇਵਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਪ੍ਰੇਮੀ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਆ ਕੇ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਸਾਡੀ ਆਡੀਅנס ਨੂੰ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਕਰਨ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਵਿਸ਼ੇਸ਼ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਬੜੇ ਹੀ ਪਿਆਰ ਤੇ ਸਤਿਕਾਰ ਸਾਥ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ ਸਲਾਮ ਅਲੈਕਮ ਗੁੱਡ ਈਵਨਿੰਗ ਯਾ ਅਲੀ ਮੁਹਦ it is a great honor to be here tonight in the presence of his excellency shri manish acting high commissioner of canada shri manjish grover councillor shri sanjay kumar malhotra vice councillor along with the staff from the council general of india honorable prasad panda minister of transport honorable jyoti gandhi ji mayor of calgary honorable leela ahir mla and honorable devinder thur mla distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen today is a great day not only in the history of calgary but also going to be a memorial day in the lives of all retired friends defense personnel when they are being recognized for the utmost important services done in the defense forces i would like to congratulate the entire staff of of consulate general of india who has arranged or who has organized such a wonderful function here in the city of calgary it was imagined it was not imagined that such things will happen but with their strategic efforts and initiative this has been made possible for that please join with me and give them a big round of applause <laughs> most of you are aware that how defense people sacrifices their lives while guarding their own country's borders leaving their families behind it's a greater sacrifice making sure that the others are in rest i would like to tell you about myself a little bit 51 years ago i left indian navy and when i joined that was today 23rd of September I joined the Indian Navy today is the day and that too 62 years ago I joined the Indian Navy 62 years ago on 23rd of September so it is not that if I talk about the excellence men also those are sitting here all defense personnel they don't sit idle even after retirement yeah they keep working they keep helping the people they keep helping their own families so what I, what i did was i joined another service that is intelligence bureau then i joined merchant navy and i had a chance to go around 75 countries of the world there i have come across people facing desperate challenges in life and i learned a lot this has left a great impact on me then i concluded that more and more people you help those who are in distress you get more and more happiness and inner satisfaction and that's the reason after completing 37 years of service in india I came here and started 
helping other people along with my job. It is 24 years now since then I'm giving all voluntary services along with other associations. Now, I would like to tell you a little bit, a very brief introduction about my association, that's Indo-Canadian Community Association. It was registered in the year 2016 with, with a combination of defense people and people came from the civil jobs. It's a good combination. It was a platform for them also. So presently, they are working with us. We have, our society is focused, concerned on three points. First one is to help the people in filing their application forms related to Consulate General of India, Vancouver, Citizenship and Immigration, and Service Canada. And the second focus is for the special services. And that is sponsor letters for visitor visa, super visa, applications for American visa, Pakistani visa, pen card, pictures, translation services, affidavits, notary public, and commissioner of all services. Third focus is the most important focus. That is to conduct seminars on domestic violence, financial abuse, isolation, depression, etc. As per the present circumstances, as you all know, during COVID-19, when people are sitting at their homes, isolated, they need somebody's help. At that time, indo canadian Community Association provided training on social media to conduct Zoom meetings, WhatsApp, Facebook, emails, etc. So that these people, those are sitting at home, they should be busy avoiding depression and self-isolation. So this was our main target in this COVID-19. And the, also our volunteers themselves, like Punjabi ji kama ga, ke hove je parmatma dushman da bhi pala, hove je parmatma dushman da bhi pala, tale jwani to sada koha dhubi pala, rakhi mardyan tak, to sabadi ujali mat, tere paane shensha sukhi vase sarbat. To e as ye commission lag, ek teacher lag ye, कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि जितनी भी किसी की हेल्प हो सके ऐसी जरूर करिए। So finally, myself and all members of the Indo-Canadian Community Association pay our intrinsic and interminable thanks to Honourable Shree Manish, Acting High Commissioner of Canada. As, a, as an entire team for organizing and recognizing us at, at this place. Stay blessed, stay happy, and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Premiji. Thank you to see Sanu Dasayi for the association coffee or we services provide Kardi Sanu Baki Patani Siga. Thank you so much. Kuch Nesha Tirange ki An ka hai, Kuch Nesha Matra Bhumi ki Shan ka hai, Hum Le Rayenge Har Jaga Ye Tiranga, Nesha Ye Hindustan ki Shan ka hai. And with this, while we all are we all have gathered to honor the veterans on the borders. I would also like to, on, uh, to have a huge round of applause for our provincial representatives, elected representatives. Rajan Sahani ji, Honorable Rajan Sahani ji has also joined us. Rajan Sahani ji, Govindar Durji, 
Leela ji, Honorable Minister Prasad Panda ji, thank you so much for joining us once again. Rajan ji, thode naam to mein diva mein baalta ho thay. Thank you so much, you have missed it. We missed you. And with this, I invite, uh, so we have two culture performances today. Our, our crew is getting ready for the performance. And uh, Madhuban Performing Arts music team has been transforming Calgary's South Asian music since 2017. With talented musicians and singers representing everything from classical Indian music to the latest Bollywood hits, these guys for sure know how to put up a show. Today they are gracing the stage with a small variety of songs that are going to have you singing and clapping along. So without further ado, please put your hand together for the team of Madhuban Performing Arts, Karanveer Paneser, Aditya Chaudhary, Asim Pandey, Shivek Kanwar, Chetan Kohli. Have I missed any name, guys? Please let me know.
Um, we couldn't help but start with something that's going to tug on the heartstrings just a little bit extra bit. So we really, really hope you enjoyed that. Um, coming up next is our rock star Asim, because what is India if not a little bit of our... Arijit. Yes. <laughs> so without further ado, I'll hand it over to Asim to tell us a little bit, and we'll get right to the music. Okay, so time for some Bollywood. So the next song is from... Uh, the next song is from Arijit Singh. It's it's called a movie. It's from a movie called Fitur. And before I start, like I was just, I'm just really thankful to all the ex servicemen for for their services. So I just really want to thank everyone from the bottom of our heart and from the bottom of our hearts. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Ka 
क्या ढूंढ रहा है जो है कहीं जो है सुनी वो बात क्या है
बहुत बहुत नमस्कार सबको आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी द लास्ट पर्सन बिटवीन डिनर एंड यू नो एंड यू सो आई वुड जस्ट वेरी क्विकली रन थ्रू माई ग्रैटिट्यूड फ्रॉम द कॉन्सुलेट जनरल ऑफ इंडिया एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ आवर कॉन्सुल जनरल हु इज नाउ द एक्टिंग हाई कमिश्नर इन ऑटोवा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक मिनिस्टर ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑनरेबल प्रसाद पांडा जी हर वर्शिप ज्योति गोंडेक मेयर ऑफ ख्यालगरी ऑनरेबल लीला अहिर जी एम एल ए ऑनरेबल राजन सानी जी एम एल ए एंड ऑनरेबल दविंदर तूर एम एल ए थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू इलेक्टेड रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ अल्बर्डा फॉर योर प्रेजेंस हियर टूडे एंड फॉर ग्रेसिंग दिस दिस वंडरफुल ओकेजन आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू टेक अ मोमेंट टू थैंक आवर principal organizations of ex servicemen uh, who were here to uh, you know for this uh, for this event and i would like to start by thanking uh, sardar mohinder singh deol ji the president and the office bearers of the indian ex servicemen association thank you so much <laughs> sardar seva singh premi ji and the office bearers of indo canadian community association may i have a round of applause for them as well please and our partner associations today the international hindu foundation and the india society of calgary represented by ms sonia joshi and dr devender oberai respectively thank you very much for all your support to for letting us organize this function and for helping us uh, in calgary to come here and to uh, put up uh, such a wonderful show for you uh, and i would also like to take the opportunity to uh, thank sonia ji again for uh, her mc of uh, tonight's function uh, thank you for holding it all together thank you very much sonia ji for a good job done thank you uh let me also quickly thank all the volunteers uh, who helped us uh, today with the function and uh, not to forget the staff of the uh, bls calgary who were a great help today for us so group good round of applause for them as well i'm sure you encounter them almost on a daily basis whenever you go and uh, deposit your visa applications uh thank you very much to the wonderful wonderful artists who came here today to perform for us and their wonderful performances uh madhuban and young bhangra group once again for their stellar performances and last but not least i would like to thank my team uh, that came with me uh, that is uh, mr sanjay malhotra our vice consul uh, jatin juneja and archit khoshik and most important of all i would like to thank uh, our is uh, acting high commissioner shri manish ji for his uh, leadership and for uh, you know for the uh, leadership of uh, for for showing us the importance of this function and how we should be able to uh, bring it to you in calgary so thank you sir for everything and last but not least i would also like to thank uh, the jubilee banquet hall and uh, uh, and for for doing a wonderful job here today thank you so much and please now the dinner is served can i can i just uh, request uh, our acting high commissioner manish ji to come once again to the stage there are a few more certificates that we need to give away can i please call the president of can i please call shri mohinder singh deol mohinder singh deol ji premi ji dr devesh and sonia ji this is for the this is for the india ex servicemen association and taking the certificate is its president mr deol thank you sir for your help